Welcome to I Love Stocks, and I want to talk a little bit about Nile. Nile just got some news, and I want to go ahead and, you know, Nile's that EV car company in China. I've been very bullish on this stock, and we've had a pretty good pullback. Question to ask after the news, is this stock oversold, or the relations between the United States and China might affect the Nile stock itself as investors? So, they signed agreement, Nile signed an agreement with a state-owned infrastructure firm to accelerate battery sw swap station construction. This is a big deal because they want to swap these batteries out, make it more convenient for the people that live in a lot of these high-rise apartments. There's no way to really store them, so this was their idea for the infrastructure plan. And they're going to be building it on a very important highway we see Nile signed a partnership agreement with the Beijing-based state-owned company making a new achievement for the Chinese electric vehicle maker as it moves forward with the construction of the signature battery swap stations. On March 19th, Nile, Beijing, a subsidiary of Nile held a signing ceremony with the state-owned infrastructure company Beijing Sulfa Industrial and Trading Company and at the Nile Center in Oriental Plaza. Under the five-year strategic corporation agreement, the two companies agreed to cooperate in the construction of the battery swap stations along the Capital Ring Expressway. This is a very important expressway in China. It connects to all the outer cities, so that's very important. So I think this is a good catalyst, maybe just to start to be inspired for the bulls to come back into the trade. But we've had a great run, and during the pandemic, you really can't complain. The EV car sector really done very well. And we've had some pretty good pullbacks on a lot of these car companies, including uh, Tesla, uh, Nile, Xping, you know, uh, just Ride, just so many of them. And the news comes out, and the stocks dip, or it spikes. I really love the presentation of, of Nile. I think they did a real well job. I really, really liked it, but the stock just dropped after that. And I think it had to do with it kind of being in a bubble because it did have an outstanding run. So let's go ahead and go to the chart and we'll top this up. I'm using my TTM trend chart. My question is, is the thing oversold? Is it overdone yet? So we'll pull up the yearly chart here and let me see the one year. So we did kind of break down and hit that 200 EMA on the yearly daily and on the SMA. Let me see if I can find the SMA. And we'll put Nile in here. We almost came close to hitting that on the SMA. It's a slower moving average. But we are in a little support level, a critical support level as she did pull back under it. And, and bounced above it so we could start maybe forming a flag but I don't know I think the resistance we got to break in the support level that we need to hold is going to be this 3993 or a very strong buy if it does pull back to this SMA on a yearly at 3196 and this will always change so far it's been moving up you know it could be 32 tomorrow who knows but that's a very critical support level as you can see we are pulling back to it again, but we did close high on the on the bar range on the candle, and that that's a bullish, kind of a bullish indicator to me. I'm expecting a bull week this year, but I'm not for. I mean, this week, I'm expecting a better week than what we had last week. So, so we might have some rebound in in some areas, and so I think resistance that we do need to get to or break is going to be right here right around the 46 but I want to magnify this up a little bit because I want to get this right right there at 46.05 dollars $46. then you got another one right here and this is the one we got to break this support level right here which now becomes a resistance level so if we can break past 43.60 we'll definitely take her to 46.05 I think she can go higher myself if she gets up the momentum, but it's, we've had a pretty good sell-off here for about three weeks, and then we had the five-day plan where she pulled back five days. So let's see if we can get this back up with a higher low. 
I'd like to see it hold this high or low here and maybe get back up here right around 4605. But I'm kind of hyped up on the news. I think it's it'll bring in extra revenue. Also, that's what I'm counting on. And that's with these swapping centers. So low support need to hold is 39.93. If that does not hold, we'll go back to the year here and we'll try to find another support level. And that is either going to be probably right down here at 38.23. And then maybe right down in here, right around 36.99 with a stronger buy. If it does reach 35, then I'd maybe get back in the trade. But for right now, we need to hold this line right here. This is critical. If it doesn't hold that, we'll definitely pull back to those lower supports. Guarantee it. Maybe even down here at around 35 bucks. But I'm gonna keep watching this stock, and I'll be looking at it tomorrow morning. See if it starts showing any bullish action. I might go ahead and day trade it, swing trade it overnight, or just go ahead and scalp it for the day. And that's Nile. I love stocks. Always remember, on our little website here, we do have a Twitter link where Miss Vegas is always posting her alerts. And it's good to watch them alerts because they're bullish money flow indicators. They're ones that have a high momentum. And then we also, on our website, we do have our stock twits, and you can follow us on there if you're not a member to our room. And my mine's right here, Washboard Gym, and then we got Vegas on here, and you can find her right there. And hit that follow button. She'd really appreciate that. So this is I Love Stocks, and we'll see you Monday. This video is NIO.